Welcome back for a second example of finding a determinant of a three by three matrix using the diagonal method. To set up the diagonal method, we want to form a three by five arrangement of elements using the elements from matrix A. So the first three columns of the three by five arrangement will be the same as matrix A. So we'll have two, negative one, zero, negative three, six, negative two, and four, eight, one. The fourth column will be the same as the first column, so we'll have two, negative one, zero, and the fifth column is the same as the second column. So we'll have negative three, six, and negative two. Now that we have our three by five arrangement, we're ready to find the determinant of matrix A. So we can use this notation here as stated in the original question, or we can use vertical bars like this to show the determinant of matrix A. Using the diagonal method, this determinant is gonna be equal to the sum of the product of the diagonals from the upper left to the lower right, or these three diagonals, minus the sum of the product of the diagonals from the upper right to the lower left, which should be these three diagonals. So again, we start with the sum of the product of the blue diagonals, or the diagonals from the upper left to the lower right. So we'd have two times six times one, that's 12, plus negative three times eight times zero, that's zero, plus four times negative one times negative two, that's positive eight. And then we're gonna subtract the sum of the product of the red diagonals, or the diagonals from the upper right to the lower left. So we'll have four times six times zero, that's zero, plus two times eight times negative two, that's negative 32, plus negative three times negative one times one, which is positive three. So we have 20, minus, this would be negative 32 plus three, or negative 29. Well, minus negative 29 becomes plus 29, so we have 20 plus 29, so the determinant is equal to positive 49. Now before we go, I do wanna discuss some vocabulary. If the determinant of a matrix is equal to zero, the matrix is called singular. This means it is not invertible or that it is degenerate and does not have an inverse such that A times A inverse is equal to the identity matrix. So again, if the determinant of the matrix is equal to zero, then A inverse does not exist. But in our case, since the determinant was equal to 49, that means our matrix does have an inverse that would satisfy this equation. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.